Hello everyone. Can you do me a favor? When you have some free time, check out Metallic Dice Games at MetallicDiceGames.com, a first-rate vendor of premium dice and accessories. If you see something you like, use the promo code RBP10 at checkout and save 10% off your purchase. You can use this code as many times as you like, and doing so helps to support this podcast. Check out MetallicDiceGames.com today and use promo code RBP10 to receive 10% off your order. Thank you for your support. Warning, this podcast contains mature content, including scenes or descriptions of graphic violence, sexuality, and psychological trauma. Listener discretion is advised. The, the Rancor's Brothel presents... Impossible Landscapes. A Delta Green campaign. Dennis Denweiler. Mr. Wild will be hearing about this, and he turns and walks out, uh, walks away. <laughs> oh, shit. we know Mr. Wild. Can I just grab his head and shove it against the wall and knock him out. How many people are you going to like smash against things while you're holding? He's got many, two like, arms. Okay, I have two hands. <laughs> um, you all find yourselves in. Um, <laughs> that's a that's a critical success, by the way. <laughs> I grab his face and shove it against the wall and knock his ass out. You find yourselves in pretty deep darkness. Um, it's dank and wet and kind of that uncomfortable basement cold. Um, there's a little bit of light, but it's a bunch of like, na- it, it look, it's like a narrow, uncomfortably tight basement hallway. Um, and you can hear voices in the distance. How many voices or what well, kind? Half a dozen or so. Flynn's first in the door. So do I still hear the bellhop going after Lundine? You do not. Ah, there are there are voices, but it, you can't pick out those voices. It appears to be general conversation hubbub, kind of um, like just just a head sort of thing. Yeah, but it's a it's a lot of people. It's like a dozen maybe. Okay, so maybe that those noises are there, and it's it's drowned out by the rest of the sound. You're not sure. Okay, um, as I hear the the voices grow louder, I'll kind of slow my pace and just kind of creep up. Yeah, no, I mean as you as you start to you see that that it's a short hallway for a little while. It's just uncomfortably dark. It's not well lit. Um, but as you come up, you see that there are it suddenly opens up a little bit and, and they're like shooting paths and you see like doors um, um, and they appear to be almost like sort of like hotel doors almost in a way, except they're very segmented um, like it's. I'm trying I'm kind of thinking like imagine if in like an apartment building was like um Remember in York, uh, I think it was in York, you would know, uh, Spencer, what was it called? The Shambles? Like, just a place where it was, like, very medieval, and the buildings were uncomfortably close together, Mm -hmm. and they were sat angle-wise, and sometimes there'd be, like, alleyways between buildings, or sometimes buildings would be squished uncomfortably together. It's like a lot of rooms and spaces are kind of hobbled together in like almost like a uh, oh, what do they call them in um, South America? Like the, uh, the what is it? The favelas where the, you kind of just like construct living spaces. It's like constructed doors. But people like there's a laundry line strung across and like somebody is like, you know, beating out a rug over here. And like you see some people sitting down and a couple of them are smoking. Um, but it's like. Odd You're talking units. about in South America, not in this basement, right? Correct. Why? Okay. You th- I guess it's fair. You could ask if you were in a favela. No. It's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's still very hotel esque, but it gotcha. is nothing's quite right. You know what I mean? It's it's. Do you get sideways. a sense of where the source of the what little light there is is? Not really. It's sort of ambient and sort of tucked behind buildings. Like whenever you'll see a door open and someone will step outside, maybe smoking or something, and light spills out from the doorway. Um. So it's it's almost like I'm outside. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Neat. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep going towards that, the sound of the, the chatter then. I mean, yeah, you're seeing, you're seeing folks, uh, who've pulled out like dining room chairs and are like leaned up against the wall, reading newspapers. Um, you see a couple of guys smoking, maybe a small table has been pulled out and they're playing cards. 
Yeah, I mean, you're right. It is kind of it's not a bad way to describe it. It's like you're outside, like shoddily constructed, like a shoddily constructed shanty town, but you're clearly not. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You're inside a space. Um, but you can see there are like twists and turns. Um, you can hear uh the sounds of maybe a party. Um, you can hear in the distance the sounds of sex or impropriety oh. that Willer says. Um you get the sense that these these the walls of these rooms are very thin. Um as you can hear as you walk by, you can hear everything that's happening beyond the walls. Hmm. But you see, most of the folks are in uh, the folks that are sort of living in this area are in bellhop uniforms or sort of like um, the attire of maids. Um, you get the sense that like the hotel staff probably live in this shanty town in the basement. Hmm. Interesting. I'll uh, I'll look back and and kind of just wait up for my compatriots. You all sort of stumble upon this. What, what about Henry? Are you, are you still with him? I lost him. Oh, okay. Immediately. Yeah. For some reason, I thought you still had like an arm on him or something. So. I'd say, like, for Thomas, it I think it makes sense losing sight of the fat guy, completely change of environment. I, I think he'd chill out. Sure. Would he chill for out now. or would he <laughs> clench up? My butt cheeks are so clenched. Uh, no, I mean, legitimately, would Thomas chill out immediately or would he, like, well, just get like, verklempt and, like, freak out? Oh, I don't think he'd freak out. But I, I think it's, yeah, it just kind of snaps him out of it. Of course, he's still If you're calm off. and I can tell that, I will let you go. Yeah. And say, I'm sorry. It had to be done. Yeah, of course it did. Kind of brushes him off. Please put the baton away. We're in an unknown area. And it's dark. Baton out. <laughs> and it's dark down here. Please put the gun out and put the baton away. <laughs> <laughs> swap. Weapon weapons. swap. Right. <laughs> Press Y. Press Y. <laughs> or up. Whichever game you're playing. Yeah. It's a quick action. Skyrim rules. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you're sort of meandering around. I've been excited about this since we got here. I knew there was a staff area and it was going to be boss. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look around, guys. It's going to be so much fun. There's going to be so much cool stuff here. Let's split up, gang. <laughs> yeah, let's split up. <laughs> Nothing creepy at all. I'm sure, that's a good idea. Yeah. You see a couple of individuals will nod to you or kind of give you, you know, a little... Some may brush you off and give you the cold shoulder. Like I said, they appear to be very relaxed. Jackets are all open. Hats are no longer off. What little propriety there is upstairs is obviously lost down here in the basement. Mm-hmm. Most of them are giving you a curious look. How we go about this? I mean, how many people um, are we talking? <laughs> uh, they're probably, I mean, you really haven't walked far, but you get the sense that like probably dozens of people live down here. Hmm. You want to know where the conference room is? <laughs> <laughs> conference room B, the one with uh, the king. One of them just kind of shrugs. You don't know, or are you just not being cooperative. Um, you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. One of them. Uh, one of the. Uh, you see a young woman who is um, smoking a cigarette, uh, leaned up against the wall. Um, she's kind of. Um, Despite the odd basement chill, uh, she's clearly like stripped down almost to underclothes, which are dirty. Um, uh, Her hair, which normally looks like it has been done up before, is now kind of tousled around. She takes a huge drag on her cigarette and sort of just makes a hand wavy motion like that away, um, which indicates deeper into this area and then puts the cigarette back to her lips and almost kills it. Is that where the is that where the king is? You see a couple of the faces turn and look at you, and then they go back to whatever they were doing. So no, that's that's a yes or a no. I'm not sure about the silence. It's not really an answer. They seem to ignore you. So I guess we go, and I'll <laughs> mimic her motion this way. <laughs> whatever this thing means. I'll uh. So oh. so you said there's some people playing cards. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just kind of go up and just watch the game for a couple seconds. Yeah, they just seem to be playing um, five card draw poker. Mm-hmm. There's some coins on the table that they're sweeping back and forth. Just kind of, just kind of curious. So there are some coins like what? what is it? Is it too dark to tell like uh, what currency they have? I was going to ask that, but I didn't want to roll a sand check. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's the old man him. roll the sand check. That's fine. Yeah, Guarantee he's more sane than great. I am. He's got, he's he's got, got more than the rest of, of us. That's not so wrong. Sanity. 65. And I hear it lasts a long time. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> sure it does. Uh, do you have history? Uh, yes. Uh, roll me some history, please. Uh, fail. Probably good. Um, 
You see some stacks of coins and no Civil War coins. None of the coins look like each other. Like clearly there must be some sort of like internal understanding of what they mean because sitting and watching them, it doesn't make any sense to you. Um, you see coins that clearly are not American made. Um, you see large coins, you see small coins, some that are gold, some that look silver. You can see some that look like maybe copper or petrified wood oh um, God, with intricate silly. writing on them. And wampum. I think Spencer's going to need to take a sand check. That's great. <laughs> it's wampum. Uh-huh. And he's just sort of, they're just sort of keep passing them back and forth. Wow. No one really seems to be winning. The money just seems to be moving around the table. <laughs> you never really win. You just get a little bit. Say, so, uh, you fellas know where Charlie lives? Yeah, who's asking? A <sighs> uh, friend of his. Uh, down that way, left. Just about how far down? Uh, a little ways there. A couple of, couple of doors. Okay. Make an insight roll, Flynn. I, I, he's, he's clear. He's clearly tossed two and has grabbed three more and is going back to the cards. Gotcha. Make some kind of psych- psychology roll or something. See if he's telling the truth. I mean, the Sims. There's a logic to any of this. No, I, no, I didn't pass. I'm just making sure he's not trying to set us up for some kind of trap or something. I mean, we're in Carcosa. <laughs> we're right. <laughs> like expect the worst. At well, all right, but I at least want to expect the worst from the destination we're trying to get to and not a different destination. I don't know why well, I failed. <laughs> he told you what he told you. Yep. So you guys seen uh, JC Lynn's around? They kind of look up at you as if they don't want to engage you and kind of shake their heads and go back to the card game. No help for a, a weary traveler. Trying Only to find... one of them looks up at this point and you just see the money keep circulating on the table. <sighs> I'll pull some money out and gamble with them. Mm. Or something valuable, I'm sure they would take. I don't even know what I have at this point. What yeah, you we, thinking? Yeah, we may not have anything. I'm sure we can scat- We can gather up some things. I mean, Frankie doesn't have anything because he's lost everything when he got hit by a cop car, so. <laughs> hey, friends, have you come for dinner? <gasps> Charlie! Hey! Uh, you see Charlie pop around the corner. Is come he on. down there to the left? He is. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Thought you were just bullshit. You know- me. Uh, come on. Toss come a on. coin to your witcher, Flynn. My, I don't my, have any coins. Oh, damn. I'm in hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Down this way. It, it'll be a tight fit, but I think I think we'll all make it. I feel like Charlie is actually played by Charlie Day. <laughs> <laughs> that's much older. That's the way to go. Well, sure. We'll make I'll, I'll, he sort of I'll, I'll go with works. Charlie. Come on. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow. Yeah, you have to follow pretty closely because he starts to move and he'll go down and then take a turn and then have to back up because someone's moving something out of an apartment and then turn and then turn. And after kind of a dizzying, impossible, Landscape. impossible to remember where you go, um, he sort of opens a, um, he opens a door into every stereotypical like New York City apartment from a comedy movie where like the bed doesn't come down right and the table like folds out and takes up like half the space. Like he lives in a closet. Um, there's not enough room for all of you in there, even with the door open. Um, it doesn't help uh, that the entire space is filled front to back with um, handmade wooden dolls. Ooh, what all size of, are these dolls? They are 0.6 meters tall. 0.6 meters. Right. So half a meter. So foot and a half tall, roughly. Okay. Do they, uh, like, what kind of what kind of vibe are these dolls giving off? Are they giving uh, off, like, the voodoo vibe? or They like, are. Like the are, mannequins? The mannequin vibe, yeah. They are roughly carved, appear to have movable limbs that are tied together with yarn. Features are drawn on uh, in, features are drawn on somewhat terribly, roughly, with a ballpoint pen. Is this the, do these look like the, the ones that we were, one that we were trying to not get stomped on by when we were tossing the bottle around? That was a clown. Those are bigger. Right. I mean, it was dressed up like a clown, but it was still some kind of mannequin though, right? No. It still had like wooden. There was a child mannequin that came out and was dancing. Then the clown, clown doll. I thought the clowns. These are more like uh, legitimate. You ever seen like from the 1920s rag dolls? Yeah. Like where they literally just take rags and tie them together in a rough human form. Like that with some wood. Like they're, I mean that that's kind of what they're way I, more cabbage for some, patchy. For some corn, reason, that's what I was like thinking. The clown was husk. it just had wooden appendages and yeah. cloth, and just it just dressed up like a clown. But whatever, move on. They do um corn husk doll. They do have somewhat distinctive features, though. Like definitely, some work has been done to try and shape the faces and the rough body size and the roughly drawn looks. Do I see any with our faces on it? Why did you ask? Make that a search. <laughs> <laughs> what are you pissing for? You don't have to look at it. 
Uh, that's a fail. Um, Did you want to fail it though? I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think. Who? Your timeline is a bit weird, Daniel. <laughs> yeah. So it's not that it's, far off, is it? Frankie's? Yes. Frankie's is very. All right. Um, you see one that looks like Mr. Wild. Oh, okay. Um, very, very distinctive because it clearly has like a little bit of wire where the doll ear is not hanging on and it's like tucked out to the side. I'll uh, store that in my core memory for later. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Uh, you can hear that there is a small, there's a small pan um, bubbling over, like spilling uncomfortably um, with some sort of brown liquid that is pouring over the sides. It's hitting the burner and is clearly smelling bad. And Charlie goes, oh, 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 almost ready. And he goes over and like starts stirring it to try and keep it from going too much. It's like, ah, yes, I see. I see you like my dolls. Are you a, a fan of art, sir? I mean, I, I'm just curious why you got one that looks like uh, Mr. Wild. Do you know him? I know many people. Ah, uh, yes. Old, old Charlie has seen lots of folks come through here. Knows lots of people. Well, why, why you got one of him specifically? Uh, these are just the, the people I've uh, taken uh, up and down the elevator, you know? Uh, folks that I see in the hotel. Call me <laughs> <laughs> not supposed to have noise. DMCA. Um, so I think yeah, for the copy second, right now, the second that Thomas... Silent, it shouldn't be making noise at all. <laughs> I think the second that Thomas hears that, um, he starts looking around for Abigail. Roll search. <laughs> Please fail. It's an 81. And my search is 80. Uh-huh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lucas. It's on silent. Just you turn your know. phone off. Your ringer is Play on silent. Play the game. Mm-hmm. I turned it all the way off. I'm try- it, somebody put me a message, and apparently it's a f-ing video. Sorry. Keep going. Um, you do not see one of Abby, but you see one that looks like Gideon. <laughs> I, I, I point that out. Um, I kind of <laughs> hey, uh, without 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 saying without like saying anything. I just I I I I'm kind of like searching. My eyes make contact, and I just with without looking, I just kind of tap Gideon on the shoulder, huh? and then I just point. What's that? That that handsome doll? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, about a little sand roll. No, no! Why are you doing this to me, Thomas? What are you at? Twenty three? I got an ot nine. Oh, good god! <laughs> we'll call it a zero for fun. Thank you! Yay! Ooh. Seriously, what are you at? Twenty three. Like, because I've I'm, said. I don't it know six how times. I knew that, but I've said it six times this this game. <laughs> no, you haven't. Yes, I. Man, not tonight. Old Charlie knows. Ah, yes, and he takes the spoon, sips on it. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Puts it back in the stew and starts swirling it around <laughs> some more. I think it needs salt. Ah, yes. Quite right. And he he pulls out a cabinet and like things just start falling out of the cabinet. And he like sticks his hand in a bag of something and something that looks mostly like salt. He just kind of sprinkles it on top and stirs it in. He's not going to do the the salt guy, (laughs) whatever. Salt (laughs) salt bay. (laughs) I'm going to take my doll. (laughs) You're taking my doll? Yep. I got cramps. (laughs) I figured. (laughs) You have a doll that looks shockingly like you. And my doll. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, dinner. Stab it and see if you feel pain. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. Okay. So what sort of questions do you have for old Charlie? Uh, I've been around the brothel bin a long time. I can tell you whatever it is you need to know. Where's the king? Ah, <laughs> one of those, huh? You don't have any pickaxes. I need a pickaxe to get to the king? Well, that's what most people take. Lanterns, rope. Is he in a cave or a mine? Don't know. Never been myself. And keeps swirling around. Ah, here we go. And he very, um, whatever the opposite, uh, he very, he very clumsily, um, he very non-dexterously, um, slops this stuff into a bowl and roughly shoves it into your hands with a spoon that doesn't look all that clean. Ah, yes, eat, eat. I'm happy to talk to you about whatever you like. And he, like, sort of crouches down on the floor and begins to just... He, he hands it all to us? Yeah, no, oh, he's giving oh. you all a bowl of the... Even corn. though we all don't fit in here? Oh, yeah, no. I mean, if, if like, you're kind of, like, halfway outside, he kind of, like, <laughs> sticks his arm out and shoves a bowl in your hands. Oh, I'm not halfway outside. <laughs> I want to... I want to... Oh, he'll... If if you are fully outside, then he will go stand in the middle outside, like like sort of squat against the door, so that he can talk to all of you. And he's just very smiley and eating a soup. I'm so glad you all came. Please eat up. There's plenty for all. What's in this? I never not have a full belly. I want to smell it. Yeah. What's in this? I say. 
Um, well, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> you know how most recipes read. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of drugs did you add to it? Is the question. Uh, if the, he added drugs, he is taking copious amounts of it because he is just one step away from fully shoving his face in and slurping it up like a dog. He is just devouring it. What's it smell like? Um, flesh. So I'm going to relate this to something. This may not hit for all listeners, uh, but I have a particularly uh, strong dislike of like canned stew. You know, like when you warm up yeah. like yeah. canned denti more stew or oh, something. God. Denti more is worse. And it just smells like brown. Yep. Yeah. It smells very brown. <laughs> Yep. Yep. No, it's, it hit, yeah. yeah. It smells brown and hot. Campbell's chunky. Blech. Yep. Beef Borgen blech is what it looks <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah. It yeah. Is. yeah. Yeah. Emphasis, not an emphasis on the beef because you're not sure that's what it <laughs> the is. The emphasis is I, on um, the blech. You know what? <laughs> I, I, man, I'm an old guy. I probably eat oatmeal it's, every morning. It, a, I, I go for it. I'm it gonna try yeah, it. it's a familiar. If it's, it's a familiar smell, I'll eat some. Yeah. Sure. Whatever is easy. How, how does it taste? Whatever is easy um, on your dentures, it, my friend. It tastes. Saving it for later. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is. <laughs> it tastes like brown. <laughs> so I look at him and I ask, um, so. When's the last time you ate? Mm. Me? Yeah. Mm. Eh, 98, 99. I'm trying to think uh, how long I've been in this shit. Um, When's the last time you ate? Uh, I thought I ate when I got to the hotel to begin with. Denny's, dude. Denny's of, is the answer. And we I didn't, didn't eat. Even, I didn't eat at that Denny's. None of us did, but that was like the closest we got. Like all of you holding this food are kind of like, when's the, mm. when's the last time I ate? It's like been weeks. I guess where I ate something when I got to this week. hotel. but. Am I hungry? It's timey wimey. So no. Like, okay, but I'm not gonna eat it. That's fine. But no, it's... no, I'm not thinking about it. If I'm not hungry, <laughs> why would I eat? Yeah, sure, perfect. That's not weird at all. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep doing this, Grady. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep for all like. <laughs> we can't just keep ticky tagging. You're saying you want me to save it for a big one? Yeah. Okay. I want. I want to go out like a. F- King, you don't want you don't want to go out on the stew. I don't want to lose <laughs> yeah. my on the stew. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, so, uh, do you remember a uh, young woman named Abigail, right? Oh, of course. Abby's been here before. Absolutely. Do you have a doll of Abby? You see him sort of get up, and he starts like these dolls are like piled in corners and stuff, and he's kind of moving, and then um, yes. And he pulls one out. Hey, Spencer, Thomas Wright, roll me some sand. <laughs> uh, you got that 65, you good? Roll high, roll low, roll low. Roll low. Uh, 94. Ooh. Oy. That is not low. Um, no, but we'll call 90, it, how about a How about a, we'll call it a solid uh, D4 plus one. Let's see what happens. Okay. I keep, I'm confusing. I this was a whole whole I, set. I keep confusing Call of Cthulhu. I must have lost a, yeah. I must have misplaced some of my. Thanks. Ooh, purple. The silver guy got it first. Uh, so a D4 plus? Plus one. So we'll call it four. 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 I wanted to give you the outside chance of going crazy without like semi guaranteeing it. Mm. What's your break point? Um, 52 and I'm at 61. Yeah. Yeah. So you all see him shudder as he holds a and, handmade cabbage patch doll of his daughter. And uh, he, you see his, his, his right hand that he's holding it in is just kind of subtly shaking. And then he just kind of like puts it in his his pocket. Does uh, it, it's, does it's, Charlie... it's good size, but no, he he doesn't seem to react at all. He seems okay. very pleased. I, I don't make eye, eye contact with him. Um, uh, but without making eye contact, I I just ask, when was she here and why? Uh, it's 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 been some time. I can't say that I've seen her in a in a while. I'm sure she went um, downstairs like everybody else does, or she may be in the rooms, but I don't think she's in the rooms. Where down downstairs to see the king. Uh, I'm, I mean, people often go down to the basements. Did she come by with a pickaxe? Don't recall. Okay. Don't think so. I don't see everyone that goes. Obviously, there are lots well, of people well, yeah, all I, over I, this place. I, Well, yeah, I figured that. I just, no, off chance that you did. They say there's a maze down there. He takes a big slurp off of his spoon. There any, do you have any more insight on this maze? Any secrets? Any mm, maps? guidance? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I'd have, have to. A, have a map. Old Charlie would have to dig around a little bit. That there implies are... that people come back from the basement. Does that happen a lot? Uh, people go down and then come back to tell stories about it? Not often. Mm. Does the Minotaur get them? <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe. There are lots of things in the basement. Um, Don't so give him ideas. Charlie, play. is there a place where we can 
here where we could get lanterns and pickaxes. And oh, old Charlie would be happy to get you whatever you need. I could definitely look around for anything. What can we do for you, Charlie? You know, Mr. Wright, I'm glad you asked. Damn it, Thomas. <laughs> You are you know, uh, far too generous of an old man. No, Spencer just likes just played right into my hands. Yep. You guys could eventually stop him, maybe. You try. I, I try. I mean, well, nah, uh, Spencer's always gonna play. Different into my hands situation. Alone. Different situation. You know, um, old Charlie, my uh, my knees really aren't that good anymore. Um, <laughs> could uh, management is uh, so you want new knees? Really in need of uh, they, they really need uh, some some pest control. Um, if some of you, uh, some of you could go in and uh, like good ratters and get rid of some of the rodents that are hiding in the walls, I, uh, I'd really Is this appreciate Baldur's it. Gate Dark Alliance. <laughs> yes, I have a starting zone quest. Literally, <laughs> you kill like six rats. You go back to the big titty goth chick, and you can next get like a rusty next, dagger. Next quest. Uh, old old Charlie be uh, happy to help you along your way, but uh, got to kind of get that done first. If you if you wouldn't mind, well, she's like an elf, right? The the bartender. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The game was far too mature for kids, as I recall it. I was fine with it back then. <laughs> we, we, uh, we were high school age. Yeah, it's accurate. All right, Charlie, we'll kill your rats. Will we kill her? Well, yeah. Will, will we kill the rats, guys? Oh, kill wait, them? where are these rats? Uh, I could show Charlie? you. Um, Look, I'm not. There's, I'm th not. Th there's some on uh, four. Um, I think I've had complaints on three. See, probably see on the, seven the problem well. is if is is we're lot. down here and we kind of like didn't make any friends up there. It's a lot of up and down, dude. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about Elmer. Yeah. yeah oh, don't he, doesn't, he doesn't like us. Charlie, I'll help you out there too. Also, I, I don't want to like waste bullets on a rat. If you got a BB gun, I'll take it. Uh, Simpler. You, he, you see him hand. He, he shows you. Uh, like uh, he's like, oh, oh, got just the thing for uh, for any professional ratter. And you see him like reach into a closet. He pulls open a closet door. Dolls just fall all over the place from him pulling the closet sake. door open. And he pulls out um like three quarters of a broom handle. And the end of the broom handle is really bloody, dried bloody. Um, there's some flesh, hair on it. Um, he hands it over to you. This will get him. One big, that's all it takes. Char Charlie? Hmm. What's with the dolls, man? What do you have so many? Guy can't have a hobby? <laughs> I mean, what do they represent? Are they patrons? Are they, like, What? what is this? They're my dolls. Right, sure. But what do you, like, what do you base them from? The people I see in the elevator. So in-game slash out-of-game question then, am I seeing, like, do I see Henry? Do I see Asa? Do I see, like, am I seeing dolls of people we've met? Roll search. That is a 22 out of 70. Every person you name, you see. Every person that, that's a lot of dolls. It's a lot of people we've met yeah no every time you turn you're like holy shit, and there's one of that person and holy shit, that's uh this that's the me. damn this psychiatrist is, this is you and holy this, shit, that's <laughs> this is you and this is you and this right. and roll sand you see one for you too okay uh hot six hey doesn't bother you too much because then you turn and you go oh there's one of yeah you see one of asa you see one of uh henry lundine you see Everywhere you turn, you realize you recognize almost every single one of these dolls. So then I turn to the group and go, this guy's literally met everyone we've met, or at least has seen them. It's a bit creepy. Uh, I would say Hotel Broadbend is like ground zero at this point. This is our uh, last stand, if you will. Henry said the king is here. Yeah. So do we go ratting in hopes to get some help in the basement or we just go to the basement? Well, if the rats are on specific floors where there are specific people we haven't met yet or have met before, maybe it's worth it. I don't know. The, the problem is, is us getting there and hoping we find information that's useful. Could be useless, you know, killing four skeevers in the basement of a f***ing don't think they're going to be that easy, but, uh, so, you know, Dwimmer, is, it's it's whatever. Yeah. So I, I look at Charlie and I'm like, so Charlie, <clears throat> see, here's the thing. We'd love to help you, but we're already in a little bit of uh, hot water with Elmer <laughs> as a sign of goodwill. Do you think you could take care of that before we help you with the rats? Sure. Sure. Yeah, no, it'll be all right. Elmer's, uh, I'll talk to his wife. Uh, they're just a couple, they're just a little ways over. I'm, it, I'm sure it's no big deal. I don't believe that, but okay. What do you guys think? 
Go for it. We ratting? Yep. So, Elmer walks you back through the staff-only door. Uh, you see him whisper to a bellhop, and a bellhop goes running back over to uh, towards the front desk and disappears behind uh, the saloon doors that kind of go into some sort of back area. Um, and he takes you to the elevator. You know, friends, I, I really do appreciate this. Um, you know, they'll want to they'll wanna see a couple of them, so make sure after you, you get them, you, you drag them out, throw them in a sack or something. You um, got a sack? <laughs> he reaches behind and pulls a pillow, burlap. Up a little case, in, at least. It's a fairly large, like, oversized burlap wow. sack. How big are these rats? Worried when he said drag. Mm. I literally, I will ask, how big are these rats? I mean, average size. What's average size to you? Carcosa size or real world size? Uh, just, he also, he also give produces us a, his stick. Give us an example with, uh, you know. Uh, you know. <laughs> and kind of puts his hands That's about, a big rat. about football sized. It's the fisherman size. Uh... That's well, a New York rat. Well, yeah, I was going to say it's probably average in New York. <laughs> Pizza rat. We'll have to we'll have to you have to get a few of them, but you know. How do you flush them out? <laughs> oh, um, they're they're pretty territorial. So once you go in and find kind of like where they're at, you'll hear them skittering around. Mm -hmm. Usually, you scare them and they'll kind of like run at you. So you just kind of and he kind of makes a swinging motion with his stick. Pretty Usually quick. in the rooms or in the halls or. Oh no, no I'll, I'll I'll show you. There's there's kind of like some. Uh, it's kind it's they're in the walls. Again, of specific rooms or hallways. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he stops and uh, kind of motions you guys to a, there's like a small access door. He, he stops on a floor, kind of lets you all out, and he kind of pops. It's like a small access door. It's, it's not very wide because you're going inside the walls. So you can only fit one person abreast and you probably have to turn sideways. So someone has to you have to create some sort of marching order if you're going in. There's not <laughs> there's not much room. It's the best at beating rat ass. <laughs> um, what would that I, be? I melee? don't have rat ass on my character sheet. I have unarmed combat. <laughs> I mean, unarmed like a combat is probably a, a rat. It's well, not no, we're not we're unarmed. not unarmed. We have a stick. Uh, yeah, me melee weapon. What's your, your be stick? melee? My stick is fifty. <laughs> Man, my melee is base thirty. So yeah, I, I'm better if I try to punch the rat. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I might just try to stop. So this is Same. just literally. Are we sending level one RPG? <laughs> yeah. Are we does the old man have the best chance of killing these rats? I have a sixty-three. The old man also oh, volunteered yeah, no. us for this task, so yeah, go first. Mm -hmm. We're twenty minutes into Morrowind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like this is it. Yeah, as soon as you joined the the fucking fighters guild, Charlie the first just thing smiles you do is and kills six out the stick in the sack. I'll take the stick in the sack. I got us into this mess. I'll stab us out. <laughs> do it. Um. Oh, don't, uh, don't. yeah. The the bottom end there is a little pokey in case. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of makes it don't worry Thomas I, Thanks, I mean Charlie I know I tried breaking into your house but bygones be bygones I'll, I'll help you out I'll assist you <laughs> right. so, so apparently Frankie's going second all right yes I'll go third okay Hold I'm on. gonna stand out here and I'll, I'll make sure none, none escape say <laughs> <laughs> like, although metagaming uh, Frankie's probably got the lowest health so we probably <laughs> uh, Daniel or sorry so one, two, three, not participating. Last in line. Four. Okay. So you all begin moving. I will punch a size a rat. You, at first, you're moving like clearly through two plaster walls, right? So you've got the, you kind of have to watch kind of nails and there's some boards poking out. Um, Do we hear anything? Just, what what floor are we on now? Yes. Like the fourth. Okay. That's a lot further up than I wanted to be. Weren't we just like on the second? We were in the basement. When, when we were higher up. <laughs> well, yes. It's a great place to spy. You notice that the the it, it gets very metallic um, quickly, and it starts to become very vent like. Um, you actually realize that you probably have to get down on your hands and knees and crawl through a few spots. But it's kind of it opens up and then it narrows down and opens up and it narrows down. But you can hear skittering kind of in the distance. Um, you can see. Um, uh, but you see, eventually, like I said, it gets way more industrial. You see pipes, steel. Um, you can hear furnaces. You know, you hear a big whoosh in a pipe beside you. Starts rattling and, and bouncing back and forth as air moves through it. Um, steam pipes, um, very dark. Don't suppose you have any light. We Don't all suppose. have cell phones with light bulbs. You do? Probably. Yeah. Not Frankie. Um, again, you, you can kind of like stand shoulder wide as it opens up a little bit, but you are still crouched over and 
it's uncomfortable. It feels like you've been in this place for ages. Um, and then you, you, you hear a noise. Uh, it sounds like someone is, um, crying, maybe? Having an asthma attack, wheezing? Male, female, young, old? Hard to tell. Uh, it's ju- you're just hearing the noise at the moment. Move closer. You're not in the front, you're in the back. So yeah. you can shove. Yeah, I'll move, I'll, I'll move closer. Whoever's in front. Um, you reach a spot where there's, like, a, a ventilation grill or something, um, and you feel, like, cold air wafting out of that. You can kind of smell kind of almost like it's 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 wet it's, it's moisture there's a lot of moisture flowing in from out of there um and you can see um you're well above this individual and the angle's not very good uh but you can see what looks like a relatively young man um the uh, uh sat down on the floor with his hands uh with his head in his hands and his hands in his knees kind of just like in almost like a fetal position next to some sort of looks kind of like a bathtub a giant steel bathtub and appears to be weeping or wheezing uncontrollably. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we're we're above him. Yeah. Mm. That would make his day worse uh, to hear people talking from the walls. But um, I'll. I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll fuck it. Uh, <laughs> you, you guys keep letting Spencer lead. He I mean, we choices. probably. I mean, we probably. We don't have no way to get to him, do we? Or her? If we could remove the grate, we could maybe slip down, but it's how big tiny. of a fall? You're, you're not, it's impossible to tell with this angle. The grate is very small. Okay. Um, like, mm. so we're just forcing kind of yourself. Seeing. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, some of us got some first aid. Let's go out down and try to help. So you would have to, like, one, kick out the grate, and then two, fit through. Be real skinny. Yeah. Yeah, it's very slender, Manny. Very, uh. Suck it in! Frank's not a fat guy, so. What's the character that lived every 130 years in X Files? It's that one. What was that one called? Stretch? I think that was a season one. The guy that would, like, feed off of people by stretching through small spaces. Oh, yeah. I can remember. honestly say and sadly kind of say I only ever watched the newest season of X Files. I've never seen the original series. And I've still never seen any of them. So, yeah. God. damn loser. <laughs> well, well. Also, I don't. I didn't finish the newest season because I was like, I don't know what the f- going on. <laughs> yes, because you missed the first fifteen years of right. the show. Exactly. <laughs> Plus, like, no. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Series. The first like three episodes were really entertaining. Three movies. They were like entertaining, but I was like, oh, so if you go back and watch it, I gotta start like, over. In like four episodes, you'll know what I'm talking about. What's this? Hey guys, this in-game movie is really cool, but who's Thanos? And <laughs> why is this guy got a shield? I don't know any of this. This stuff. guy <laughs> smokes a lot. This might. I always make fun of my wife because she took uh, Fadre and I to see episode. Episode three, we all went together. She had Classic. never seen any of the Star Wars movies. Because she got done with the movie, and this is this is like opening day. There are people wearing Jedi robes and lightsabers in the movie theater, right? And like the movie ends, and she hits me and says, "Really?" Loud. She's like, "What happens to the babies in the movie?" Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know what? Let's just do this. Um, <clears throat> I'll clear. I'll kind of clear my throat. At the great and um, this I'll, is Jesus. Yeah. Without kicking it down. <laughs> I'll say, um, <laughs> young man, I I don't I don't mean to startle you. We're exterminators. <laughs> <laughs> We're in your house. <laughs> I don't mean to startle uh, you. Why you're already having can, an asthma attack? <laughs> I need I need can, gold, frankincense, can, and murder. Can we get someone to help you? As as he starts to speak. Um, the, the man sitting on the floor jerks back violently. And as he does, his hands kind of go back and there's like a, there's a chair not far away from him and he bumps into it and it clatters on the floor and it like scares him. And he's kind of, no, I won't, I won't do it anymore. I don't care what he says. I'm not, I won't do, I won't kill any more of them. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Um, then he like crawls across the floor and kind of disappears out of view, but you can hear him like huddling in a corner. (laughs) I think it's your buddy. Good old Asa. Do I get a, a good angle on him? Do I recognize him? Not not super great. If that's the thought train, they I mean it's not a bad one. Next to a bathtub. Yeah, I'll move out of the way if anyone who else wants to engage with them. As you sort of uh, sidle to the side, you hear skit, skit, skit. you hear some skittering. Sounds like it's just a little bit further. Okay. They're just around the corner. Is this someone we want to talk to or no? Now we just keep going. I'm, I'm good to keep going. But. Sounds pretty pretty manic. Don't know if there's much we can do for him. Yeah. 
I mean, we've met in that one iteration of Asa. This is a different iteration of Asa. We're just seeing these snapshots in time. I don't know that there's much to gain here. Okay, let's keep going. Kill these rats. Keep moving. We got a job to do. You hear a loud, uh, you move a little bit further and you hear a loud thump on the metal in front of you and you hear some skittering five, eight feet in front of you. Would it, would it be fair to say that uh, as a police officer, I'd, I, I would have a mag light? Um, make me a luck roll. Yeah. yeah. All right. Trailer Cthulhu preparedness roll. <laughs> you got to call it first. What are, Over or under? Uh, can we just say, like, okay, I didn't know that, but I rolled zero, zero, zero. That's really bad. It's really bad. But yeah. Be over? So, I mean, if you called over, it'd so be good. So call it and re-roll, because <laughs> yeah. that's really f***ing bad. If you called over, that would have been good. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. But you didn't. <laughs> over uh, or under? Under. Didn't bring a mag light, you brought a fleshlight. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just, rolled, I just rolled a zero, and then I rolled a 99. So, you know, you don't have a mag light. So, no, it's still a 99. <sighs> Damn it. Skitter, 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 skitter. Yeah, I mean, your, your, your cell phone light or whatever. Because, I mean, you're an old man. You've got a flip phone. Your cell phone light is probably only going, like, a foot. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's kill these rats. So, you going to chase the noise? Yeah. Anyone else did anything? I'll just follow the, yeah, the follow, crush. follow, follow. Okay. And the only one to survive... Was Troy. <laughs> you gave no f- You hear a little bit of skittering. Um, uh, just kind of like almost in your direction. And then you hear kind of a. I don't think that rat's doing well. <laughs> or he's doing really well. I got a job to do, Cody. Of course. Oh, I'm going to step forward and I stab th- the rat. I think you need a CPAP. Um, the light. Um. Shines on pale, ashen flesh. Um, about yay big. Um, for the people at home is football. Uh, I don't know. What would you describe that as? Football. I have some yeah. words. You I would them, say like, slightly larger than football, but slightly. But yeah, yeah. Sli- loaf. I yeah. Know this is an audio size. show, so no, no, no. Yay I'm, big helps no one. I like. I know what words I'm going to use. I want you guys to interpret it. Then I'll use my words. All right. It's suspense. I'm trying to build it. Sorry, listeners. <laughs> Yay big. You could describe it. Football. Okay. Larger than football. Large football. Not much. Large football. <laughs> rugby ball. <laughs> It's a large foot. Um, oh my god, I want to know what it is. What is it? <laughs> See? Jackal. It's working. Jekyll? Jekyll. Of Jekyll. sort of ashen <laughs> flesh. You see no hair. You see you see skin. It's Mr. Bigglesworth. Um after which you realize that there's it's it's not one lump of flesh. There's like two lumps. There's a there's a smaller lump. There's a there's a larger, fleshier lump, and there's a smaller, harder lump. Less fleshy. Um, and the less fleshy bit starts to move and twist. Um, and you realize it's it's a head. Um, a disembodied head? No, no, no. It, the head is still attached to the body. The the yes, you're sure now. The infant head is still attached to the infant body, um, but it's soaking wet. Um, it has um, completely been disfigured in the face. It's bloated, um, fleshy, uh, completely blank white eyes look up at you. Um, and you see just a couple like maybe little pointed teeth as it sort of hisses and starts scrambling at you at a high rate of speed. Um, Thomas, that's a rat. Kill it. Uh, <laughs> kill it. Ring, it's coming ring, right at you. Ring, ring, ring. I mean, uh, I like that the I, father I, of the infant is the one standing in front of it. So you all can roll sand now. Um, yeah, yeah. I didn't see it, though. <laughs> I thought we were in a really tight space going like single file. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's okay. pass. I mean, I feel like I would have seen part of I, it. I just, I'm third in line. <laughs> what am I seeing? Nothing. Sand check. Uh, Sand. I'm not there. I, I rolled another 99. <laughs> is that a critical Another 99? I believe a, a 99 is a critical failure. Yeah. Sadly yeah. true. You know Which what that means? Sense. You've what, rolled... What does it mean? You, you take full sand damage. You've yep. rolled 100 and then two 99s. Yeah. You need to switch out those dice. Yup. Uh, I failed. You failed? I, I don't even see it. <laughs> oh, it was so close. <laughs> 29 over you're gonna, 23. You're going to push six points? I have oh, burned have every bridge. Um, you're at another breaking point. Guaranteed. Uh, so. Maybe. 1d6. 1d6. Pass. 1. 6. I just get 6. You just get 6. 
Fuck me. That's full. <laughs> I am one away from breaking point. What is six? Fight, flight, or what? freeze. Fight, flight, or freeze. Yeah. What does six drop you to? 55. What's your breaking point? 52. Okay. Fight, flight, or freeze. What do you want to do? Oh, me? Yeah. No, he I want to. He, he didn't have fing run. Point. Perfect. What do you want to do? Run. All right. Perfect. Uh, Dex order. Daniel, how many did you lose? I only lost two. And you're second in line? Yes. Um, <laughs> you see this horrific toddler, like infant, infant two year old monstrosity just sort of <laughs> scrambling its way towards you. Um, you hear more scrambling in the distance. If Requiem for a Dream wasn't bad enough, um, what do you want to do? Give me the stick. I'll kill it. <laughs> <laughs> you could snatch it from his hands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go for it, man. Oh, uh, this. I'm gone. All right. Uh, you are the you are the last to move in the initiative you're, order. You're, yeah, you should lose. So at this point, I'm stabbing around him. <laughs> so you take the stick, and you're going to attempt to stab it around him? Yeah. Perfect. Roll me an attack, please. Unarmed, yeah. Uh, yeah no, it's, it's melee. melee. It's melee. Oh, yeah, I, uh... Base if you got it. I got more than, a little bit more than base, but... That's a fail. Uh, you snatch the stick. Are you swinging or, or stabbing? I'm just trying to stab it. <laughs> so you snatch the broom handle from him, and you stab at the thing, but it sort of skitters <laughs> and hisses at you? I don't think I can swing around Thomas right now, since Probably he's technically in front of me, right so I'm just trying um, to... Lucas! It should be me. I, I will, uh, I will bolt. I passed, but I will bolt. You're in the back, right? You're yes, the last person. Last in line. Line. Feasibly, yeah. Yeah, so you can just run. Okay. You take off. Yep. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> uh, Flynn. Fuck, baby. You're Flynn. Flynn. All right, so it really just has to hell. deal with the two of you. Um, Daniel. <laughs> oh, I need to make a, a subsequent. I did not, so um, I'm also my disorder, so I'm, I'm fixating. So I have my mask on <laughs> as well, and I'm just screaming muffled <laughs> into it as I run. Perfect. Perfect. Um, you wanted a big one. This is a good one. Yeah. Um, uh, Daniel, dex by five. Uh, that is an op three. Nice. Yes. What? No, uh, sorry. I just that's you. You of all of the players in this game, in any game we've ever played, have the highest walled. <laughs> It's because he didn't even throw it in the thing. He Dice. basically threw it completely over it. Yeah, I've never seen you bounce one out at that height. It's, it's bizarre. That's right. Well, it's weird shit happens, Lucas. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, like, control it with my mind. You're nice. able to you're able to duck out of the way um, as he just goes screaming past you, just yelling, screaming. Uh, Troy, you, um, <laughs> you hear screams. <laughs> Charlie turns you. I think they found him. Everything okay? As I yell in there. Nope. Into the hole. Not of a f no. f all. Uh, Daniel, you see it scrabble up towards you, but it's 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 you know it's crawling infant. It's it can't move that well. It's your turn. <laughs> My turn. I like I like how Charlie just gave us a stick and a sack. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so I'm going to start crawling back backwards, work my way out. But I'm going to try to attempt to stab it again. Sure. That is a crit fail. 66. You you stab and like you lodge it in a pipe and you pull back as you're crawling and it stays there. Okay. Uh, this thing starts crawling up to your face. <laughs> you three are running, so I don't, unless you're going to take another action, Lucas. Um, you two are just going to run until yeah. you stop running. <laughs> I shoot the kid. Uh, there are a lot of people in the way. So you're going to draw your weapon and try and shoot through three of your other folks in a small space. It's a it's a 33 out of 60. I shoot the kid. Okay, roll sand. Uh, pass, uh fail. Sorry, for, for fail. One d8, please. It's a five. Fight, flight, or freeze. Uh, I hit a breaking point. If that matter matters, it does matter. I'm yeah, sure. it does matter. <laughs> <laughs> matters a lot. Uh, no. Flight, I, I run. Okay. Um, so apparently Annie Oakley here, um, in the middle of all this, takes a knee, aims, and fires. And as soon as he does, 
it's like a I mean it is it's a giant bag of flesh and blood is penetrated by a by a round at high velocity it's like blowing up a balloon of wet rotten flesh that then explodes its rotten soggy innards all over Frankie <laughs> um <laughs> The the sound of the gunshot is so goddamn loud. Everybody's probably deaf. Um, you and uh, you and Charlie are just kind of you know as it rattles. <laughs> A couple of doors in the hallway open. Um, but Frankie, the thing in front of you is now basically a toddler leg and half a face, and that's all that's left in the middle of the gore. Put it in the um, bag. Okay, I'll grab some. Put it in the bag. Carol. Gross. <laughs> um. Troy, you're standing out there as you see, um, you first see Gideon emerge, uh, wearing a gas mask, hyperventilating. Screaming. Yeah, as I see them running, like, I literally would just, like, step out of the way. Uh, yeah, I assume you continue running. Let them run past. Yeah. Um, uh, they, they all do. They, they scatter in opposite directions, three of them just running out. Um, Adrian has a gun drawn, still smoking, just runs, um, if you do nothing to stop them. Um, and then Frankie, uh, crawls out, uh, a few minutes later, holding a large sack that is dripping blood all over the floor. Got one. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. That's Charlie. That's good. Yeah, one hand Charlie. Up. Looks at it. Cool. Is this, what, is this what you wanted? <laughs> yeah. We'll need to get about five or six more. There is about five or six more in there. <laughs> Look at all those body parts. You got to roll some sort of lie because there's not nearly that many body parts in there. Uh, <laughs> I, I got to persuade. Is that the best thing on here? There's wow. not a, There's not a deceive, is there? Or a, I'm not trying to fast talk. Fast talk's not on here anymore either. No, I can't remember. I thought there was a lying one too. No, I think persuade is basically the, it, they the, grouped ca it. the catch all. Persuade truthfully or through a lot. Roll a credit check. <laughs> so yeah, that that gunshot it got it got it went through quite a few of them. So I just grabbed all the body parts I could and <laughs> it's a pass. Now we'll go see if there's any more noises on three. But looks like you cleared this one out. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's more all over the place, but we can't go get them all. <sighs> Let me. I'll go talk to Elmer, but uh, probably gonna need a few more. And he starts hobbling back towards the elevator. <laughs> Wait, wasn't he supposed to give us some other information? Upon completion. Oh, well, I mean... Uh, uh, would you gentlemen like to stop there for the evening after murdering... Yeah, I, gotta, uh, yeah, I gotta go have nightmares. A wet, um, soggy infant. Yikes. Well, that's fine with me. You I've, killed ta I've taken PTSD as my next disorder. Oh, perfect. Yep. You, um, you killed a child. Sure did. I also forgot to do my conversion disorder there. Because <laughs> it's the same time I lose sand, but... All right. We will, uh... We will pick it up in the Hotel oh. Brottleman. I'm I sure I can't it. think of anything terrible that could happen to you when all three of you run off in insane in directions. Yeah. 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 Our title track and additional musical arrangements were provided by friend of the podcast, Ian Shannon. Find more of his work at sleepforthewearied.com. Like what you heard? Check out more episodes online at rancorsbrothel.com or the Rancors Brothel on Facebook. You can also interact with other listeners at the Fans of the Rancors Brothel Facebook page. Want to contact us? Reach out to at rancors underscore brothel on Twitter or via email at therancorsbrothel at gmail.com. Most of all, keep circulating the tapes. Much love, everyone. Thank you.